Yo, what is going on guys? It is Vitality here and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you a rant video on the new update on Infinite Warfare. So if you didn't know already, Infinite Warfare has had a brand new update where they brought out these new weapons that are called Mark II. So they are just normal weapons, so they're MV4 Fallout, BMC Calamity, other weapons that are in the game from the start since launch. They've been kind of remastered into Mark II weapons and what's special about these is that they come with a brand new camo that can't be changed so if you get one of these you cannot put a custom camo on so like say you get the honeycomb camo you cannot put these on the Mark II weapon and also they're only obtainable within supply drops and the real part about this that really everyone hates is that they give you 50% XP and they are not unlockable by via salvage so the community has been going an awful lot about this I've only seen a couple of videos like apparently He's not making a video about this at all, but he has said to me personally when we're playing them that it's really stupid that like, they're messing with the game and if they continue to do this and mess with the game, I'm just going to go back playing all cards and just put cards all together. So it's really stupid about them doing this with the Mark II weapon. It's, it would be fine if they were the same like obtaining 50 percent then more XP, but they were obtainable via the salvage map method just like all the other weapons that are in the game and the reason that there isn't a full lack of percentage is because they're only obtainable through the supply drops which are also obtained through game time so you can get a game time from the amount of new items that they've added into this I swear down I went down through the cabinet and I swear they've added over 100 new common camos I've been saying I'm much they've added into this update the massive update but if you want to get the supply drop through that way, it's really hard because there's a lot of new items in the game. And saying this, it's a lot less chance that you're going to get one of these Mark II weapons. So the only way that you can probably get them is by buying supply drops. Not a lot of people want to spend money on the game, and people who do spend money on the game are ranking up faster, getting more stuff faster. So they're going down the pay to win route in this game. The route that nobody wants to see Koji go down is it. I'm going down even more than the Mark II Warfare. They have paid the win very in that game, but they don't go this far, giving them a clear advantage to use money. But as I said, you can get these for free, but there's a very, very good chance of you getting these for free. So with this new update, I've been wondering about if they're going to bring out new weapons in the DLC. So when DLC 1 will choose all DLC 2, I've been wondering if they're going to bring some brand new weapons and whether they'll be high jump or just like they were in Black Ops 3 or they'll be obtainable via the salvage method which most of the weapons are hopefully are obtainable via the salvage but if I'm going to be honest I see Infinity War just going down the pace of injury making the weapons insanely overpowered and putting them in supply drops only like Black Ops 3 they made the weapons supply drops only but they weren't overpowered like most of the games that most of the guns that are in the game at launch were stronger than the weapons that were put in supply drops there were some weapons that were stronger than others such as like the HD40 that was pretty powerful when these experiences were out. And also the main one that I'm thinking of right now is the Marshall 16 that was insanely important when we brought that on Black Ops 3. But luckily that they did turn it down a bit after in a patch later on where they made it two shorter things and it was, um, the one shot range just brought closer. But this is why I've got a problem with them towards because they're obviously in my eyes I think it's gonna make the weapon insanely empowered supply drop only so they can get more and more and more money out of supply drops. So people are going to want to spend that money and get the weapon. So the gameplay that you see in the background is custom zombies. So the only reason I'm putting this, the only reason I've got this in the background is because I don't want to go on infinite warfare. Because I just feel that the game's going to shit. I don't want to play. I do have a couple of these like double XP, not double XP, like plus XP weapons myself. But I don't want to use them. They're just common, and I don't want to see everyone just spending money in the game just to ruin it. So I've been playing a lot of custom zombies CS:GO. Payday 2. I've been playing a lot more like games on Steam and on my PC. I'm sorry if the recording in the background is a bit laggy because I didn't have time to set up my recording properly and I just went straight into the game, started playing for a bit and this is the gameplay using in the background. So if you don't want to see more of this type of gameplay like Custom Zombies Live with like Chronic or CSGO with some other people who I know, 
I'll make sure to bring that to you because I've been uploading a lot of different stuff lately because I've been posting top 5 of the week and I don't know what I've been posting I just feel as if it was something to do so I just did it, it was pretty well I got a lot of feedback like someone wants to do an AJ Lee top 5 top 10 moments so I might be doing that in the future possibly but I might be doing um, ones like Big Show and everything. I'm not sure though, it depends if my videos get a lot of hate or a lot of support so hopefully I'm going on the support route so, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video, peace out.